The fellow responsible for this rather flighty footwork is Edward Hernandez of Colombia. He's also known as Nino, which of course is Spanish for boy, and he might stand just 2 foot 4 inches tall or 72.1 centimetres, but he's no child. He's actually 36 years old and he's currently the shortest living adult man on the planet. I'm Craig Glendy, Editor-in-Chief here at Guinness World Records, and this is the story of the world's shortest people. Stories of little people date back for thousands of years, and our mythologies and folklore are packed with legends like Tom Thumb, who was supposedly the size of his father's pollux. But little people are very much real. They've been celebrated throughout history for their direct connection to divine beings as important members of the royal courts of Europe. Of course, it's not always been positive. In the 18th and 19th centuries, things took a, a darker turn as people of short stature became the subject of sideshows and circuses. But more recently, our understanding of medicine and genetics has helped to demystify the mythologies and explain the causes for dwarfisms. Although through it all, what's been undeniable is that our obsession with extreme bodies hasn't gone away. Guinness World Records has been documenting little people from the very first edition back in 1955. In that first book, we list the shortest person in medical literature to be a 37-year-old unnamed man who supposedly stood 16 inches tall, or just 40.6 centimetres. Report was also given of Geoffrey Hudson at 18 inches, or about 46 centimetres. Despite his limited stature, this man led an astonishing life. He fought in the English Civil War, then he fled to France, became a court favourite of Queen Henrietta Marie. In fact, there, after one too many jokes about his height, he actually shot a man dead in a duel. That was before being kidnapped by Barbary pirates, being held as a slave in North Africa for 25 years, and well, anyway, the story goes on. These early books also list a Miss Edith Barlow as the shortest living woman in the world, at 22 inches or 56 centimetres. It's also noted that Anita, as she was also known, weighed a mere 17 pounds, or just over seven and a half kilograms, which is, what, lighter than a dashand. <laughs> What's interesting though is that when Edith died, her real height was actually confirmed at 31 inches or 78.7 centimetres. And it's an all too common example of numbers being exaggerated to grab the media's attention and history is full of these dubious cases. These days, what's most important to Guinness World Records is that claimants must be able to prove how short they are. This is why we now insist on measuring people three times a day, and by a doctor or a medical professional. Gone are the days when circus ringmasters would lie about their giants and little people in their travelling shows. So, over the years, we've been lucky enough to meet and measure the world's shortest living people from across the world. Like Portuguese drummer and Antonio Ferreira, or the Dominican movie actor Nelson De La Rosa, Nepal's Kagendra Thapan Magar, America's Bridget Jordan, Junrei Balowing from the Philippines, and of course China's He Ping Ping. And the shortest person ever confirmed by Guinness World Records, measured three times in a single day in Nepal in February 2012 by me, was Chandra Bahadur Dangi. At the age of 72, this remarkable man averaged just 21 and a half inches, or 54.6 centimetres. So the question you might now be asking is, why do certain people have such short statures? Well, short stature, or dwarfism, as it's still often called in the medical profession, is usually the result of a genetic mutation. This malfunction in the genes can be random, or it can be inherited from your parents. This means that two average height parents can have a child with a short stature, or two parents with dwarfism, can have an average height child. There are literally thousands of different medical conditions that can result from genetic mutations, and those that result in short stature are typically caused by the body not producing enough growth hormone. This is what caused the short stature of Edward Hernandez, for example, who you met earlier. Dwarfism is also divided into two main types, proportionate and non-proportionate. 
With proportionate dwarfism, the person is smaller than average all over, like He Ping Ping, who was crowned the shortest living man back in 2008. With disproportionate dwarfism, the person has a combination of average sized body parts and some that are shorter than average, typically the arms and legs, like James Lusted here, who's one half of the married couple with the greatest height difference. There's one other important distinction here at Guinness World Records. We divide all short stature records into just two bigger categories, mobile and non-mobile. This is because many of the conditions that lead to dwarfism can sadly leave a person unable to walk. Take for instance Florida's Wildine Armois. She's the shortest non-mobile woman in the world. Wildine was born with Sadan dysplasia. This is a bone growth disorder that has left her confined to a wheelchair. But not that this stops Wilding from living life to the full. She's studying to become a pharmacist, and she even hosts her own YouTube channel called Life of Wildine, where she educates the public about her form of dwarfism. Compare Wildine now with the shortest mobile woman, Jyoti Amji of India. Doctors believe that Jyoti's height is the result of a malfunctioning pituitary gland. This is the organ that regulates the release of growth hormone and Jyoti simply hasn't produced enough growth hormone for a woman of her age. The result? At 28 years old, she stands just over 2 foot tall, or 62.8 centimetres to be precise. This means that Jyoti is the world's shortest living woman alive today. We also recognise short stature in terms of vocation. Here, for example, is Frank Hatcham, who was the first person to be named by Guinness World Records as the world's shortest bus driver. And let's not forget about Pratik Mohait, the world's shortest bodybuilder. And if you're a fan of the American Horror Story TV series, you might just recognise that Ma Petit is played by... Well, yes, Jyoti Amji, who, as well as being the world's shortest woman, is also the world's shortest actress. What Jyoti and all of our short stature record holders demonstrate is that being small is no barrier to living at large. Yes, they face challenges fitting into a world that's not built for their size. Of course they do. But these inspiring people have shown remarkable resilience and the determination is there not to let their size stop them living a full and active life. If you enjoyed this, we've also got a video about our tallest record holders, which you can find by clicking somewhere on the screen. Oh, and don't forget, you'll also find a roundup of the world's shortest people and many other remarkable human body record holders in the Guinness World Records 2023 edition. Like and subscribe!